All right, guys, let's show you what's going on. So you remember the 64 Pontiac? Well, it is back in the shop. We're back working on it here a bit. So what we got finished up now, or what Mike got finished up, I should say, is he's finished up the rockers were always on it. He had put them on, but they weren't welded underneath to the under part of the back of the rocker. So he's got all that welded up. This body line, these are cheap, nasty quarter panels that came with the car. And you can't buy quarters for this car, but they made these back in the day. And if you see what I mean by they're nasty, is look at this line, if you can see it in the video, how it's wobbling all over. But anyway, this body line lined up at this end to the door, right here. But then it went all wonky and went high, which wouldn't match these big chrome pieces you see here. And those chromes go all the way from the front fender, then they go under the rocker, then they come up here, and it wouldn't match. So luckily the customer brought us that. So Mike had to cut that whole section out and put it back in there properly. After he's done that, now we're fitting all the front end. Now the fender looks all goofy. We've only thrown four or five bolts on it. We're just kind of loosely putting everything on it. We'll get on it and figure it out. But look at the length of this car. 64 Pontiac Prigian. Where's the best spot to look at this thing? Pontiac Prigian Factory 409. It's a Canadian car, so they had a Chevy engine. Numbers matching with a four speed. Holy shit, this sucker's long. Mike had to do the exact same thing on this side of the car. He had to cut this one too and change it. Then he's got the rocker attached to the back half of the rocker. And then, well you can't see it, I was just gonna show you. On the cowl, the cowl comes down. The front of the cowl had been hacked off and was laying in the car. And that's where the fender would bolt to. So he had to weld all that on and put those back on. So that's what's going on there. The Pontiac is in, doing a little bit of work to it. This gentleman's in no panic for this car. So there's not a timeline on this car whatsoever. But now that it's coming together, I got to get this thing done and out because it's a big car. He only wanted us to do the welding on it and that's all he's going to get done. If he decides he wants to do the body work, well guess what? Then he's going to have to book an appointment and he's going to have to take it home and bring it back because we got other jobs ahead of him before you can do that. That's one thing, when someone books in with me and they say, do the welding, then they do the welding and then they say, I want you to continue with the car. I say, well, I can't. You booked it in for welding only. I've got other jobs. So you gotta go down to the back of the list now. So take the car home, then come back. Unless I'm completely got a slow spot and I'm dead, I'll keep it in here. But right now, we're booked. We're booked to almost the summer. Okay. Let's go see what's happening outside here. So, 67 Mustang, we got a whole bunch of parts and pieces, this is the heater, we got it all apart, cleaning it up, painting it up, getting the heater core, new heater core done for it, or I should say the old heater core done up. Column is kind of going in it right now. Engine is in place, sitting there. How's that look? Little 289. We're not using that air cleaner, we just put it on there to cover up the carburetor. That's one of my own air cleaners laying around here. Got the power, got the power brake master on there, right? It's got, uh, you can't see it now, but I got all the disc brakes on the front. Chris is doing a fine job doing that. Getting it together. Wiring harness showed up today. Thank God. So we're working on that. I can tell Sean's in here. I can hear the paint shaker just a going. Oh yeah, the paint shaker's going. The Model T. The Model T is underneath cover. Sean's got all the bodywork done on it. He's going to be priming this up tomorrow. Oh, that's okay. You can leave it run. Oh, that's okay. We like the noise. But anyway, there's the. Here we go. There's the Model T body under there. So that's all. Bodywork's all in. So close the primer. And tonight, the last and final part of Big Red is getting painted. The hood. Thank God. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I wish I had to shoot that thing though. I bet you will. <laughs> anyway, so there's what's happening there. Um, uh, yeah, I'll come see you in a bit, Sean. Yeah. So that's what's happening there. Um, got all the pedals in here. The clutch and the brake pedals are all in place. You can kind of see it under there. It's looking good. The Mustang's coming along. A few things missing. We've got a grab still, but. It's looking real good. Real, real good. Just a little 289. Um, set of headers. A little bit of a high rise of an intake with a nettle block on there. Um, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. You know. 
Gonna be a four speed car. Got a four speed in it. Okay, so. But, I think that's about what's all that's going on. Yes, I'm a model A sitting there. And you guys waiting, you'll be going crazy. It's almost Sunday. And you know what Sunday is? Sunday's fun day. All right. Uh, the Ford pickup, the 67 Ford pickup, there's the inner fenders for it. We're cleaning those all up and getting ready because the owner wants to paint these satin black. We had to cut them out for his new suspension to fit around the suspension. So we got that all cut out. We're going to get those satin black. And the next vehicle rolling in here is the 67 Ford, the one of only six made, Crew Cab. I got the box down getting blasted right now. I highly doubt you can see this in the dark. The cab's still outside, but we got the box off it. Yeah, you can kind of see. So the box is off it now. It's down at the blasters. Once the box comes home, it's going to go in the shop. We're going to start working on that, get all the welding done. While that's going on, we're going to lift the cab off, set the cab on a cart, push it under cover, and then get the frame all blown apart and get the frame all blasted, then start getting the frame painted up. That's the plan there, get the frame painted up. All the other parts of that truck are ready to go, except for one door. Tailgate's ready, three doors are ready, one fender's ready. What else is ready? Rad support's ready. Oh God. All in first primer, of course, but the welding's all done on them. Anyway, uh, that's about all I can tell you today. I had a guy who follows me, Sigmund Floyd. I forgot to show this. He follows me. He lives in Abbotsford, great guy, and he came by and he's given me a couple things. I only see him once in a blue moon. He's always writing to me. He sends me so much crazy stuff. It's just unreal. Um, he gave me a long time ago this radio that had never been used. It looks like a dashboard of a car. Very cool, right? But he came by and he gave me this now. So this is apparently what I'm going to look like when I'm in my grave. So my hair keeps growing, but apparently it's only going to grow in the center now. Where I think, I think right now I got a... I got a full head of hair, don't I? You know, so, but, but the good news is it, it, I lost my hair on the sides apparently, but I still got the wave going down the center here. You know, I still got, I still got this going on. That's good. And uh, you know, I've lost my eyes, but that's, that's okay. And my teeth are all intact and, and I got a beautiful goatee. So, I mean, I'm going to be a, uh, I'm going to be a real handsome devil, real handsome. And when I say devil, I really mean devil. So remember, it's always a good time at all time. Hell yeah.